I think we've all been expecting it. We, we, knew that, we knew that York City Council were going to have a vote on it, and it was pretty obvious that they were going to vote to, uh, to deny him the freedom of the city. They don't like being associated with him. He hasn't behaved at all well. Um, you know, he's... I mean, it's not just York City Council. I mean, the palace have pushed him to the outside. Um, I think this is this story that's bound to happen. I don't think um, he will relinquish his title and I don't think Parliament will even discuss it. I think some people will say it ought to be, but actually it'll be pushed aside and then there'll be another row about whether he's on the p balcony for the Platinum Jubilee or not. I mean, he's just, you know, he's the uncle nobody wants at the wedding, really. Mm, Gareth? Yeah, I mean, I think the statement by the council says it all really, you know, it's, it's sending the right signal. We're standing with victims of abuse. I mean, you know, is, is there anyone in the country who, who doesn't stand with victims of abuse? You know, this, this says more to me about the signalling that councillors want to do than, um, than anything else. I just don't think it's, 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 it's anything worth worrying about. To be honest, he's the Duke of York. People will always know him as the Duke of York. Um, and, and having said that, I don't think anyone thinks that the Duke of York has any kind of close connection with the city of York. And that in some way, the city of York is, is stained by his poor reputation. Well, I mean, the people living there certainly do. And I think they should have a say. I mean, there's been multiple petitions trying to get him in York, from people in York, saying that he's not... They don't want him. They don't want him associated with their city. Um, and uh, they say the, he's not showing Yorkshire values, having him associated with such, such a proud, fair and straight-talking county is contradictory and embarrassing. I mean, surely they, they have some... Uh, they should be given some say in this. What, what, I mean, what, I don't think I'd like him known as where, Duke of Paddington, which is where I happen to live. What, what, what are Yorkshire values? Well, I'm just telling you what the people of York are saying, and that's what they feel. And well, why I, shouldn't I'm, they feel that? I'm a Yorkshire person, and I would say that um, I certainly don't speak for all of Yorkshire. I don't speak for the county as a spokesperson for what the values are, but I guess, you know, I would say if you, if you push me and said, what do you think values are? Decency? Honesty? Integrity, uh, family values. I mean, with, uh, with full, kind of full respect to, to to Yorkshire, I mean those those are values that I think yeah, but everybody they, they everybody holds. Name. And but what what's more, I just don't think that uh, the city of York is is in any way immutably connected with. The Duke, the Duke of, of they gave York. Him, they they yeah. gave him the clothes and the title. Gareth. Gareth. They gave him the freedom of the city as a <laughs> wedding present. They're taking it back. <laughs> and you talked about democracy earlier. This is about democracy. This is, this is as Harriet says, <laughs> the people of York have spoken and through their councillors they've decided they don't want to have anything to do with him. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, you know... and. And I have to say, if he was the Duke of Tufnell Park, I would feel the same. <laughs> Crikey, Mikey. Well, they're not messing around on this panel tonight, are they? They don't, they don't want to be associated with you, Prince Andrew, if you're watching. Uh, if you are watching, though, by the way, Prince Andrew, I feel a bit of your pain because I was once promised uh, the freedom of the city, the keys of the city in Hull. Uh, so I was many years ago. And do you know what they did? They took it back. It never yeah. happened, yes. What did you do? <laughs> well, I'd love to know, actually. I'm not even joking, by the way. This is a true story. Yeah. Uh, many years ago, you might know if you're old enough, I actually won The Apprentice and afterwards there was going to have this whole ceremony yeah. uh, in the City Hall, it's called, uh, that was going to give me freedom of the city, keys to the city, and then they changed their mind. Ah, oh. so perhaps, perhaps <laughs> decisions that are made in Yorkshire are not uh, necessarily the voice of the people. Perhaps it's all about <laughs> internal local politics. I wonder if no, that could possibly of, be the case. There's a lot of petitions. Have you not... They've, they've said there's numerous petitions, so I don't think it's internal but, politics. But petitions are not democracy. What, what, what MPs but they decide... Show, they well, what elected district? MPs dis Gareth, should decide Gareth, on this, and, and that's democracy. And elected councillors decided on this pushed mm. into it by petitions from the people. Yeah. You can't say that the only people who can ever make a decision is an elected MP. The councillors are elected, the councillors decided, and actually it, 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 it appears, and I'm not from York, but it appears that they have reflected mm. the views of the people of York 
correctly. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.